Today's gonna be more of a grind for me. I had one really good canal that I knew I could catch a limit out of, and I went in there yesterday, caught a limit, caught three nice ones. Got out there with probably around 10 pounds, which I thought would do a little bit better than it actually did yesterday. I thought weights would be even lower than they were, even though they were kind of kind of raggedy weights. I thought they'd be actually a little bit worse than that. So, you know, obviously my practice uh, is not what everybody else did. So, no, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. But yeah, glad there's going to be no delay. Glad I'm going to get get to my good area and grind for a little bit longer tomorrow, and hopefully get us a big bite or two. So, it's the plan. Just get us a big bite. Day two. Yep, I'm going to the same area. I'm just going to mix up my rotation, and if I need a, a keeper, I might go to my best canal a little bit later in the day if I have to, but I'm hoping I don't have to. On the one that you missed, or on the other one? I think there might be two. Hmm. Get him. big but certainly needed another saw on there like I can't get a net. <laughs> get get the rule for us. Well if he's gonna make a long trip I get him in the boat. <laughs> yeah he's two a little better two and a quarter something like that. Do what? Two so far.
bring out a birthday boy. It's his birthday today, ladies and gentlemen, from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. 10-7 yesterday. He's 13-3. Inside the cup. Five fish today, 12-12. Inside the cup right now. Puts him in 23-3, but we'll see how it all shakes out at the end of this way. And can't touch me, I got instincts. Locked in the house, but I'm plotting things. I run a gang to the point. 23-3. Yeah, for sure. And you, you know, it's going to be hard to uh, leave here where you almost want to wear shorts every day and go to our next one, which is going to be, you're going to be bundled up and layered up. But I, I really risked a lot this week, especially having a short day yesterday. I've been making a run that's over an hour, and there's a ton of them on bed down there. You just got to connect with one of the females. And I have not been able to do that this, these past two days. So hopefully, hopefully we'll squeak in there and go back tomorrow because I've seen some really, really big ones this week. If they'll just cooperate, I mean, we can come in with them giant bags. So fingers crossed we're going tomorrow, but... We gotta wait and see. Find out how it all works out at the end of the way. All right, bundled up now at the second Bassmaster Elite Series event during practice. But video you just watched was day two, St. John's River. We barely squeaked in there by the skin of our teeth to make it to day three. I think it was in like 45th place, something like that, going into day three. So obviously got a good check. Got to fish the third day, which is the ultimate goal whenever you start any of these tournaments. So really, really fun day at St. John's. I just couldn't connect on a bunch of fish and that's what I mean, whenever you're fishing in florida you gotta catch the big ones and i lost two big ones that day but that's how it goes that's okay that's what bass fishing is sometimes real quick pretty cool thing the tournament tackle is doing if you want to have a giveaway to win a gift certificate for tournament tackle you can buy whatever you want to with it go to tournament tackle and they're doing a giveaway for my weight for this event right here so you gotta pick if i make two days one day three days four days and then estimate the weight that I'm gonna have and whoever's the closest gets a gift card for Tournament Tackle. So head on over there and check it out. It'll be pretty cool. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button because Knoxville, Tennessee Elite is coming up next and you don't wanna miss it. We'll see y'all.